Welcome back, folks. It's time to connect these two towns back up. And are we going to do a tunnel there? I don't. Yeah, why not? That's okay. And we will. Uh, smooth things out a bit like that like that and is there anything else that needs smoothing i think there is yeah okay here yeah, we'll smooth out And here we'll smooth. And I think that's fine. Okay. That out a bit. Move this out. Okay. And I think we'll set up the passenger train today uh, from Madison to Winston-Salem to Omaha. We won't extend the cargo spine yet because we can't really get a cross in here. We can't really get a cross in here. If we can, we can do it, but I don't think we can. Let's try it. Mm. Well, we could. Hmm. What do they need in these cities? Uh, tools, machines, fuel, goods. But not a whole lot of any of it. And Winston-Salem. Food. Fuel, goods, construction materials, but not a whole lot of any of it. So extending the cargo line, or the spine line right now, maybe isn't the best idea. Uh, let's look at trains. Uh, so spine fluid hauler, spine cargo hauler is doing okay. Uh, where's the stake hauler? Uh, spine stake hauler there is actually making money now. Good. Okay. And some of our passenger trains are making a lot of money. Seven million. Murrieta Temecula, 14 million. Yeah, so we're, we're making good money on some of our trains. Good money. Uh, so, and I had a suggestion because this really bugs me that these buildings shoot up so let's try this suggestion and i suppose these ones are okay because they don't actually go into the train station this one is not okay though now where is it This building right here. Uh, no, no, no. We're not. We're not destroying the. Okay, and this building right here also bugs into the station. So there. That's all the buildings that bug into the station, and then we can do. Um, some assets here uh, 
and let's see what can we put in uh, what if we will this yeah are there any buildings that won't go into Ooh, a little billboard that it's not bad actually So what, what we want to do is prevent buildings from shooting up into our, what's this, sound barrier thing? Let's put that up there. Uh, we, we want to prevent stuff from, from shooting up into our... Uh, into our station. So... Let's do this. And... We'll put this in. Maybe it didn't need one more. So something like that. And then maybe... Something like that. Just to prevent the houses from shooting up and going into our uh, station. And then, what other assets do we have? What is that? I have no idea. What's that? Third rail support. fence. Let's put uh, some little fences here uh, so they can be like a backyard for these houses. So something like this. have a little backyard here that will prevent skyscrapers <laughs> from uh, shooting up into the middle of our station and I think that'll be okay We'll have a little backyard for these guys. There. Okay. Hopefully nothing shoots up. We'll see once we uh, let time pass. Uh, there could be something over here, I guess. Uh, we will deal with that later. Let's uh, start time passing. And we'll get some uh, some trains on the passenger line so buildings Ooh, depot Ooh. a modern depot I like it uh, so it can be back here Something like that. Why is there two? Train depot. Okay, weird. 
All right. Uh, some rails. High speed. With catenaries. And... We need to come over... We need to hook up to that track over there. It will not do it. Right, let's try coming off that track then. That works. And coming off that track. That works. Some signals. Uh, one way, yes. Auto signal, no. And we'll do there. There. Uh, there. There. And we will double slip these. And we'll double slip this and this. Okay. Very good. So, uh, we'll be coming out here. And what do we want for our passenger wagons? Hmm. That won't cut it. Now let's take a look at diesel. 177. 134. 164. Hmm. We have basically no active effort and no power. This one does goes very slow the alco do you want to use the alco here uh, what about multiple units nah All right let's go with an electric Um, let's try you. And for passenger wagons, we'll go with the coach. I think one, two, three, four. Yeah, eighty four passenger capacity. Let's buy that. Oh, we need to make a line first. A new line from Madison to. Winston-Salem to Omaha East to Winston-Salem. Okay. I think that'll be fine. Uh, down here in Omaha, I think... I'll switch you to be on three. Okay. This is perfect. Perfect. Uh, we will make you this color. And you will be uh, Madison 
Omaha with one M commuter. Madison Omaha commuter. Uh, and with one S in Madison. Apparently. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, we will. Uh, let's see. We will make you your color. And we will set you on Madison Omaha commuter. And off it goes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I really like that. That's a pretty good looking train too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I was told, because I only put four cars on here, and I was told that they normally do uh, five cars, uh, Amtrak. So... Let's... Do they normally have cafe cars? I don't know. We'll add that. There we go. So now we have five. Alright, and we will be riding the train today, uh, but... First, we need to get some, uh, well, some trams going here. So, I think we'll put a tram depot out here. Uh, like this. And then we need a depot over here. I think we'll use a regular road depot for this. And we'll put it down here. Like that. And then we need some lines. So new line from uh, I guess here to here to here to here uh, but I really want you to not do that so we are going to put in and can't we put a waypoint waypoint is what i want so we'll put a waypoint here and here and after the nameless station um, we'll add this waypoint. Yeah. That works. Okay, and this will be Winston Salem uh, with a thing. And a circle one. And new line from here to here to here to here and 
We'll put this in for good measure. So this will be Winston Salem. Purple. Uh, actually, that's wrong. According to my naming convention, this is just Winston Salem Circle, and this is Winston Salem Circle One. Uh, I do want to recolor you though. Uh, we'll make you that color. Uh, we'll make you this color. Okay, let's buy some trams. Where did I put the tram depot? Yeah, down here. Buy vehicles. I think we'll go with uh, this one and we'll buy two and make you that color and put you on Winston Salem circle and then we'll buy another two and make you that color and put you on Winston Salem circle one. So off they go. I do like trams. I do like trams. They look pretty good. Yeah. Trams are cool, man. Trams are cool. All right. So then we need a new line here. And we will go from there to there to there. Uh, something's wrong. And yeah, we need another stop up here, I think. Um, I think we'll put a bus tram stop up here and we'll add that but it's going that away so mm -hmm. I screwed this up didn't I so from there to there then there. Uh, that works oh it, it really doesn't this stop does not work uh, bulldoze all right let's try this again shall we uh, that station here uh, you know what let's bulldoze this and put it in here instead. And then we can put one in here, I think. No, not there, but here. Okay, so there to there, there to there, to there to there, to there, and back again. That works. That works. And we will color you that color. And we will call you Omaha Purple. I can spell it. Omaha Circle, and another new line going from there to there to there to there to there to there, to there and back again. And you, we will color you. Uh, which color did we make the other one? Uh, I think it was this one. We'll color you that one. 
and you shall be Omaha Turtle. If I can spell it. If I can spell it. Uh, one. Okay. We actually already have 27 passengers waiting here. That's kind of nice. Okay. Uh, buses. Uh, we have this Chevrolet C60 with a capacity of 13 passengers. Um, I think we'll try that. It doesn't have the greatest capacity, but it's cool looking. Uh, so we we'll buy, I think, four for each. Omaha. Omaha Circle. And four. Four Omaha Circle one. Okay. Let's take a look at these buses. Oh, that's a nice bus. That's a nice bus. I like it. I like it a lot. Wow, that was almost an accident right there. Alright, so that's that. Uh, we have 44 people waiting in Omaha. We have 23 in Madison. You have zero on board going anywhere, uh, going the other way. Uh, but we are going to uh, clone you. And here it comes. Uh, well, this train is basically up here in uh, Omaha now. But I really want to go the other way. I want to go take it train ride from Madison to, uh, to Omaha so let's jump on board here we are going very very slow but I really do like the look of this train it's very cool all right here we go Speeding up. It's a very cool looking train. Alright. Let's take a ride. Going through our little tunnel here. Ah, signal is green. And we'll come into Madison. There we have a couple of floating passengers waiting. So weird. I don't know why they're all floating. They all float down here, Georgie. Alright, so... Here we go. Oh, look at that view. That is beautiful. And we're gonna get to cross the bridge. Oh, there's our sister train. Gorgeous view. We can see the other bridge there. We will be able to see the cargo trains over there when we get those going this far. There's our tram depot. And in we come to Winston-Salem. And we don't have any passengers waiting for us here. We have three on board, though. Two of them got off. So now we have one. And... 
and on we go to Madison. No, to uh, Omaha, sorry. And a little bit of industry out there. Oh, the cars are coming there. The traffic isn't as bad, bad as it was. So that's good to see. And into Omaha we come. Look at this beautiful station. Wow, there are a lot of people waiting here. How many people are we picking up? Wow. 60 people. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. And off we go again. We're up to 62 kilometers an hour. 75s, 80. I do like the look of this. Over 100. This just might be my new favorite section of the world. We have 62 people on board now. Let's see how many we'll have now after we visited Winston-Salem here. So there was one that got off, I think, and we are full. We are full. That is just crazy. Oh, sorry. Tram people. Train people. Go first. And back across the bridge here. Look at that. It is so beautiful. Can't wait to get the spine trains going here as well, so that we'll be passing them on the bridge here. That'll be cool. Very cool. I like this line a lot. And we got two new vehicles. Uh, Union Pacific and Union Pacific Reverse. Okay. So now that we have this up and running, um, what's next? What's next? So we do have uh, some industries that we can hook up easily. Um, for instance, this Memphis Steel Mill, we could easily hook up the plastic or the chemical plant. We could easily hook up um, but what do we need i think we need way more food so we could do all the berries to the beans and send them along on the spine and we have some uh, well, we have the food production over there but what else where else do we have food production uh, product food so for yet will yeah fresno okay uh, Hylia and mesquite so Hylia here has a food processing plant right there. That's a weird looking road, huh? Did I build that? I almost feel like the, the, the game would build something this stupid, so it has to be me. <laughs> uh, and look, we're getting people over here on the other side of our train station, which is rather nice. How big is Hylia now? 1,235, wow. And we have quite a lot of 
We'll just sit in here. Which is fine. Got a train coming in. To pick him up. So... We could hook this coffee beans factory up. Or a food processing plant coffee beans factory. Uh, uh, we could hook, hook the food processing plant up and get that going. Oh, we don't have two lines here. We probably should have that. Pretty good, pretty good. So that's something that we could do. And get some more coffee beans going. So this is two to one. But then this is one to two. Could also get some alcohol going with some grain. That might actually not be a bad idea. And that could be made over here as well. And also up in Fresno. Where it's actually directly hooked up. So that's a possibility. That's a possibility. We're getting a little bit of product. There's no getting a bit of product. It's pretty good. There's no is tiny though. And Memphis is pretty big, a thousand and fifty-three. Yeah. What is our biggest town at the moment? Lubbock, fourteen hundred and fifty-four. Lubbock is a big town. I'm surprised Murrieta is so small. I really am. Yeah, so noise pollution everywhere is very poor, but that's just part of uh, part of being a modern world is to have noise pollution. Can't be helped. Let's take a look at Lubbock. Jeez, that's a big city. That's a really big city. Actually, we didn't even put in our headquarters yet, did we? No. Mm. Kind of feel like it should be in one of the spine towns. Probably Olaith. Let's put our headquarters in Olaith. Right in the center of town. Is this right in the center of town? Yeah, pretty much. This is probably more. There we go. We have a headquarters. Cool. Company score is 98. I don't actually know what that means. Is, is that good or bad or what is it? Um... If we're worth a lot. So we have 730 road vehicles, 101 trams, 109 trains, 52 ships and zero aircraft. Top speed is 201 kilometers an hour. Top length wheel 324 meters. Oh, and that's the train length. Oldest vehicle is 133 years old. <laughs> What vehicle is that? We need to do some maintenance on our cars, on our vehicles, I think. 133 years old. That thing belongs in a museum. Quite a lot of tracks. Not all of it electrified for some reason. Okay. That's a little weird. Not all of it is high speed either. This is weird. Okay. 
trans transported two million sixty eight thousand cargo and it just keeps going up look at that passengers we're in twenty one thousand okay it's pretty good pretty good so yeah uh, that brings passengers all the way up to Omaha well it more brings Omaha to the rest of the world because no one wants to go to Omaha it seems uh, well a few people way more that want to go to Madison which is understandable because Madison is a reasonably sized town so yeah and uh, next time we will check up on our uh, passenger lines here and see if our fixes uh, worked it looks like they didn't uh, not all of them anyway so we'll do some more tweaking to get the passenger numbers uh, down to a reasonable level but as i said it'll have to be in the next one because we are out of time so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time